getting Linux to run on an open source RISC-V architecture CPU um, designed in a, an HDL called Midgen and running on this FPGA. And I finally got it today. I'm really excited. So if you look over here, you can see that I have Linux on LightX Vex Risk 5. So Vex Risk 5 is the name of the CPU that I'm using that has been built inside my FPGA. And LightX is a uh, open source project that aims at porting this particular make of Risk 5 processor into FPGAs. Um, and so there is this project on GitHub, but it wouldn't build for my board. And so I've just finished making all of the tweaks to make that happen. Now, most boards that this CPU has been built for had a standard UART RS-232 protocol for communicating between the host machine and this device for transferring things like the firmware and the Linux images and stuff. This board has the option to go with asynchronous FIFO 245 mode because of the FTDI chip on here. And so I was trying to use that because it's significantly faster than UART. And when I tried to use that, the images were getting corrupted as they got sent over. And it took a while to figure out that that was even what was happening, but once I realized it, I was able to come in here, um, since it's an open source project, look at the source code and realize where the mistake was. And so I found a mistake in the byte counts of how many bytes were getting sent per packet. Another issue was when the packets arrived, they get CRC checked, and when there's a mistake, there was no effort of the CPU to flush out the receiving channel. And so if the host had already sent the next packet without verification that the first one arrived, then it would get all mixed up and start reading the wrong information. And so I modified it so that whenever the CRC is bad, then it flushes out the channel and starts over for that packet. Now it did still take about an hour to upload all of the Linux images onto this board using FIFO 245. And that should not have been the case. I ran some calculations and it probably should, should have taken more like two minutes. So there's still something wrong here. I don't know what it is. It seems like maybe we're just getting a lot of CRC errors and it has to keep resending the information over and over again before it arrives safely. So I will have to dig more into that. But the good news is these projects are, are all open source and I have that option.